Hi, this is Marlume's Creations, and today I'm going to show you how to create Rainbow Bright on your loom. Rainbow Bright was a cartoon series that was on TV when I was a little girl, and it came out in the 80s, and she's just really cute, and the kids loved her. And I'm going to loom her because I'm an 80s baby, and this was part of my memories of my childhood, along with Strawberry Shortcake and Papa Smurf and all those other ones. So I'm going to show you how to make her, and I'm going to tell you how many bands you're going to need. Some of the Rainbow Bright dolls had yellow hair, and some had orange. You can use yellow or you can use orange. It's your choice. I For the hair, though, all together, you're going to need 96 bands for the yellow. For blue, you're going to need 33 bands. Red is going to be 25, purple will just be 8, 9 green, 25 white bands, and her skin color for her face and legs and hand are 30. Now I did not include, in counting all that, the extra that I added on her arms and her legs. That I added on just last night as extra because Rainbow Bright has like a bubbly look to her hands and to her legs. That's optional. You can add that if you want at the end and I will show you how to do that. For the eyes, I used two pony beads. If you don't have pony beads, her eyes are blue. You can use a dark blue and this is Rainbow Loom's Jelly Blue. You can use that and that will look cute. So let's get started with making um, Rainbow Bright. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make her arms. To make her arms, you can choose to do it on your hook or you can choose to do it on the loom. So I'll do it both ways and just to see which one you're more comfortable with. If you're doing it on your loom, you're going to grab two green bands and place it on your loom, two purple, two red, Two yellow, two light blue. I'm using light blue for today instead of the dark blue. And then her skin band. So whatever color or shade. And for the skin bands, these co this color is the color that came in the camo pack from Rainbow Loom and they work perfectly. So this is your setup. It's two green, two purple, red, yellow, blue, it could be dark or light, doesn't matter, and then her skin. And then you take a single and wrap it around four times. And then you're just going to loop it. And if you want, you might as well just do the other one as well because you need to make two. And then you just pull that off or you can start off by taking a single skin band wrapping around your hook take another two and then working backwards so then you would take two light blue slide it through then two yellow Two red, purple, and then green. So whatever is your preference, it doesn't really matter. It does come out a little neater when you do it on the hook versus the loom, but as long as you don't yank it off the loom, then you shouldn't have a problem. So you're going to place this to the side. And now we're going to make the extension part of her leg because she's not long enough. Um, she's The loom is not long enough to make her leg, so we're just going to make that. So to do her legs, you're going to start off with two green. And you can do the same thing. Over here, two green, then two blue, and another two blue, two 
two sets of purple. And then red. And for the red, you're going to use three bands. You can use two. This is how it looks like with just two. It's a little thin. It's your choice. You can use three. I'm just going to use three. And then once you place the three, you're going to place a cap band. And then that is the extension for the leg. So then you take a single yellow, uh, red and wrap it around four. And the same thing here, single red, wrap it around four. And then you're going to loop that. And place that to the side and now we're going to do her dress extension for the dress you're going to place two blue bands on your loom and another two on this side so that you do both at the same time so two blue and two blue followed by um, white bands so two white bands here and two here and then you're going to do that again another two white bands here and another two here so it's blue white white then grab a single white and wrap it around this peg only three times and the same thing here only three and then loop it now if you have a spare hook you can place all the pieces on your hook or you can just put it to the side it shouldn't come undone so we have made the legs the arms the dress extension now we're going to do the shoulder the shoulder I just do it on my on my hook it's just a single band wrap around four times and then grab two more and slide it on you could do it on your loom you could just place two bands and cap it and then you can take that off that's one again a single band wrapped around four slide it on and place that to the side so that completes that. And now finally, the last part is making her hair. For her hair, again, you can choose orange, and this is uh, neon orange, or you can choose yellow. It's your choice. I already pre-made them, but I'm going to make one with you to show you. So I am going to use the, um, the orange today, just to see what she looks like with orange hair, because I already made her with yellow. And what you can do is, you're going to make four sets of 10. So you can use your loom and you can go down 10 times and then cap it. So altogether, each strand is really 11 because it's including the capped band. So this is 10 bands plus the cap, which is 11. So 10, 20, 30, 40, and then the four cap. So you're gonna make four sets of 10 and then three sets of eight. So we'll do it together. I'm gonna take a single, wrap it around and you can do this on your loom but I have noticed that when I make hair pieces on the loom and I pull it off they come twisted so I've learned to just I've always done it on my hook and what I do is I when I pull them through I see the direction that the band wants to go and a lot of you are probably saying that's just too much it doesn't make sense to do that but I really like the hair to look neat and so you can see that this band is curling, so I grab it in the direction it's curling. So that's two, and that's curling to the back, so I grab it like that. That's three, and 
Again, if you want to just get it over and done with, you can just do it on your loom. And I will do one on the loom with you just to show you what I mean. When you yank it off, it doesn't look as neat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten so this is nine and this is this is yes more time consuming but I like the strands to not curl up so much so this is ten now I'm going to do ten on the loom just to see if there is a difference or if it's just me so that's one two three four five nine and ten and now I'm going to cap that and I'm going to wrap it around four times pull this off and I'm going to loom it I mean loop it and take it off It's not so bad actually. I guess it depends on the brand of the bands that you use. Just a little bit more stretched out. So it really doesn't make such a difference. So it's a waste of time I guess to do it on the hook. So you're going to make two. These are two sets of ten. Although this one looks longer now. So two sets. You're going to make, I'm sorry, four sets of ten. And then three sets of eight. You don't have to make this much hair but it looks a lot better. So it's best to do it that way. So again, four sets of ten three sets of eight, pause the video, make them, and then we will do the next step. So after you've made the pieces to your hair, you are going to, that is that completes all the pieces that we need, we're just gonna start the actual doll now. So we are going to now start making her face. So you're going to grab the color that you chose for her hair, so if you choose yellow, you're gonna start with yellow. And if you chose orange, you saw it orange. So take two bands, place it here. And two bands and place it here. And now you're going to place two going down on both row on all three rows. And then from the middle, place two here. And two here. And then again, going down on each row. So you went down here, here, and then one here. So now we're going to grab the skin bands. Place one here. Actually, no. You're going to go down two times with the skin band in the middle, like that, and one here. These are two bands, I just met like one set and then another set, and then you're going to close it. A set here, and then close it. So that is her face. Grab another two skin bands and make her neck. And now we're going to make the shoulder. So grab your blue bands and go to the left and to the right with your blue. And now we're switching to our red bands. And you're going to go down once and one here. And in the middle, I forgot, um, there's a, there should be two blue bands in the middle. So this is your setup. After the shoulder bands that are two blue, it's red, blue, red. And now on these three pegs, we're going to add caps bands. 
So on this one, you're going to take a single red and wrap it around once. So it should have two loops. And then again, another single and wrap it around once. And do the same thing on this one. Take a single, wrap it around, and a single, and wrap it around. For the middle, you can choose what two colors. You could even squeeze in three if you want because she has like a rainbow in the middle. I only chose two. You can choose any two colors. I'm just going to do green and yellow or whatever color you think stands out more. And I'm going to do green and yellow. And again, you can add a third if you want. So you place two red cap bands on these two pegs and then two different colors in the middle. Now you're going to grab your blue bands again. Actually, you're going to grab your red bands, sorry, and you're going to place two here, two here, and two here. So we went down three times after the cap. Now we're going to grab our blue bands. So you're going to take your blue band and you're going to go down one time on each row. And now we're going to switch to our white bands. Go down one time on each row. Grab another two white bands. And on this middle peg, place two from here to here. And two from here to here. And now on these two, grab your skin bands, go down two times with skin bands using two bands. One and two. So you should have went down two times with your skin bands just on the outer row. And then the last peg is white and white. So now we can add, where's my hook? We can add the, um, the legs. And the legs are the ones that are shortest. They're the ones that have the green, blue, purple, red. They're the ones that have the red at the end. So this is the skin, so this is the arms. Make sure you don't get them confused. So I'm going to take my leg, place it here, and the same thing here. And then you can take your arms and place it here. And the same thing on here. Now you're going to grab your dress extension and your shoulders that we forgot to add actually. So for the dress extension, you are going to add her and I'll show you where you add her. You're gonna take your dress extension on, you're gonna grab the blue and you're gonna place it on the very first band that has the blue. So the red should be above it and the blue should be below it and that's where you're placing that. And if you're using the rainbow loom, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the eighth peg on both sides. So we're gonna do that again. And then you're gonna take your hook and you're gonna go through that caps band that we wrapped around only three times, pull it, and you're going to place it on the peg below it and do the same thing here. Pull on it, peg below it. And then just kind of 
squeeze it so that it's aiming out a little. So now we're going to add her eyes and then we're going to add her hair. For the eyes, I'm going to use two blue pony beads. If you don't have pony beads, you are going to use two dark blue bands and the jelly bands work nice because they're thick. So it's kind of like the same thickness as a band once it's wrapped around. Take a single blue, wrap it around your hook four times. Do that again, single blue, wrapped around four times. Take a skin band and you're going to transfer that on. Slide it down, transfer it on. Place your eyes on the third peg from the top. One, two, three, separate them and open up the middle and place one band resting above this peg and the other should be resting underneath it. That is your Rainbow Bright's eyes. I'm going to use beads and to do that I just have to take my band, slide it through and that's why I like to use the beads, they're just so much easier. Separate it. Place one band above the peg and one underneath it. Take a single skin band, place it on these three. That's going to be your triangle band for her mouth area. Let me put these away. And now, before I forget, you're going to remove, here's the two green bands. You're going to remove just the top two green and leave your hook in there. Grab the shoulder and pinch it and try to grab all the bands. So you have two and two. If you have a spare hook, you can do that too. So we're just going to open it and place it on. And then once you have that on, push down and replace these two green bands. So you're only grabbing the top two green. So just take the two green off. And I say leave the hook on just so you don't lose it. Place that loop and place the other loop. And then just aim it forward. And we could adjust it later. And then replace that green band back over. So there is your shoulder thing. Okay, so now we're gonna do the hair. We did everything except for her hair. So let me grab all my pieces. So these are the pieces that are eight. So I'm going to take this off. And this is one of them that's eight. And the ones that are eight go on the top three. So you want to count them and make sure there's only eight. And the ones that are tens go on the side and there's two and two. So these are the two tens and they go here. and the other two go here. So now we're gonna place our triangle band and then we are ready to loop. So the first triangle band is going to be a white band over here. And from the bottom, it's one, two, three, four, five, the fifth peg up from here to here. Now. I added one blue band. If you can see right here, there's a little gap. If you feel this is going to be loose, I don't know what type of bands you're using, then you can take this, double it over, and place it from here to here, like that. And that way it squeezes her, her dress area in. If you can see, there is sort of a gap. So had I done that, it probably would have squeezed it together. Your choice. So I may just do that. Oops, I'm gonna stretch it out a little and break the bands. 
So maybe I'm just going to leave it as a single, but you can do that if you want. And then the next one is a blue, a single blue from here to here. Again, you can do that. You can tie it off double. But on mine, I did it. I did single, single. And then on the top, I did do a double. But we put that to the side because we add that later. So we are ready to loop. So you should have added a single triangle band here and a single triangle band here, white and blue. So you're going to loop the bottom white forward, the skin band, the other skin band, and you can stop there. Do the same thing on this side. And now you're going to reach in here and grab these two bands that are right here. And they're the top two white, and you're going to bring that to the middle. Same thing here. Grab those two top white bands and bring it to the middle. Now we're going to reach the other white band, loop it forward. Same thing here, and loop it forward. Reach the middle, push everything back, grab the two white, and loop forward. You're going to reach in here, pushing that triangle band back, and you're aiming for these two blue bands. And you're looping that forward. Loop the middle. Reach in here again, grabbing these two blue. And you're going to then reach these red bands and loop it forward. Loop the red, and we don't have a triangle band here for a reason. And loop these. Now, do not loop ahead. You're going to take your hook go to the side, grab all those capped bands, two sets, and you're going to pull it up. And same thing here, I'm grabbing the green, the yellow, and you're going to pull it up. And on this one too, reach in underneath, grab the two and pull it up. And make sure that you did pull up four loops. It should have four loops. Once you have done that, take your hook and these two go come off right here. These two, slide it down, these two, and the top two. So just the top two red bands, leave it on your hook, take a single red band, wrap it around, place it from here to here, and then one by one, replace them. So take this one right here, replace it to that peg. Take the second, replace it. And take this one and replace it. And I don't like that fuzz. And so you should have replaced each band. And now you can re-enter the peg. Grab the two red, loop forward. The blue and these and loop forward. Now reach in here. You're pushing back the arm and that little shoulder and grabbing the very bottom, these bottom blue bands right here you're grabbing. So reach in, grab those two blue, loop to the middle, and the same thing on this side, the two blo um, bottom blue bands, loop to the middle. You're going to reach for the neck bands and loop it. Reach for the top two skin bands. I only grabbed one, so let me grab the other. Reach for the next top two, and mine went to the left and to the right, and then the last one to the middle. Reach in here, grab the bottom two, loop forward. The same thing on this one and the middle. So you should have looped these two and the middle. Now there's that I band. Make sure you push it back. Grab the two orange bands and loop. Loop this orange band forward. And again, there's that I band. Loop it back. Um, push it back. Grab the orange and loop. Now we're going to grab these two orange bands so they're they should be the top two and make sure you grab on the right ones loop it to the middle 
And the same thing here. And loop it to the middle. And then re-enter these two corner pegs, grabbing the remaining two orange bands, loop it forward. Again, these two, loop it forward. Don't forget the middle. Push everything back, grabbing the two, loop forward. And now reach in here and loop these two to the middle and these two to this middle. And then you can cap it off with two bands. I like to use two. You could even use a jelly band if you want, if you feel it's stronger, but I, I use two bands so that it doesn't come undone. Take your hook, go through all the bands in the middle, slide it through, and you're not gonna make a slip knot over the hair. You're gonna pull the hair, go through the hair, grab the slip knot bands, pull the hair again, pull it up, and you're going to make the slip knot underneath the hair. And then pull, and then we can take her off slowly. So I'm curious what she's going to look like with red hair. I actually think she looks so much better with this shade of blue, the neon. She looks more like um, like Rainbow Bright and with the orange hair. But in the cartoons she had yellow hair and in some photos she had orange. So this is your Rainbow Bright. And what I did was, um, first you can adjust her little collar. You can take your hook through the cap band and pull. And the same thing here. Just adjust the um, cap. So what I did, and if you're interested in doing, you don't have to, it's optional, is I added a whole bunch of cap bands on there because she has that bubble look. If you look on the internet, you can look her up. She has this bubble look, and I just wanted to see what it would look like with it. But you can leave her like this. That's just fine. So first, let me get rid of the slip knot. I'm going to go back through the hair underneath and pull the slip knot through so that it's in the back of her, not in the front. Now to do the hair, I grab all her hair to the front like this, and she has poofy hair in the cartoon, and you can just place that in a rubber band. If you want it to look like this, where it has like that kind of fishtail look, I came up with something the other day, and what I did is I, first you're gonna secure these three, just so that it's out of your way. So you can use the, slip knot band and just secure it out of the way. Take these two and you're gonna go in between them. So you're gonna take the first one and you're gonna go not through the first loop, not through this one, you're gonna go through the second loop with this band. So you open it up and you go through and you pull and now this one's in the front you're going to keep doing that same pattern. Go through the second, put it through, take this corner again, go through here, pull through. You don't have to do this, you can just secure her hair. I just like the way it looked. See the look that it's giving? It's really cute. Go through here. And then just keep doing the same thing over and over. And you don't need to do it all the way to the end because she only needs enough to have it before the ponytail. So this is probably enough to just do like that. So maybe I'll just do one more. And I think that looks good. And I wanna do the same thing on this side. So here are the two strands and I'm not going in through the first loop, I'm going through the second. Pulling the band through.
and just keep doing it until you're happy with the length. So I think that's good enough on both sides because we just need to put our hair up like that. So now grab a rubber band and I don't have an extra orange band. Oh yes, I do have one here. You could also use the cap, um, the slip knot band. So I'm just going to do that. So take her hair, put it up and turn that fishtail looking part over her three hairs and the same thing here. And then collect it and grab the slip knot bands and wrap it around. And then I wrap it around one more time. And it gives it that braided look and you can separate it. I like it, I think it looks really nice with that look. And again, you can leave her like this or I'll show you quickly if you're interested and I'll show you how I did this. So I put two of each color but because the green is being blocked by her shoulder, you just need one green. So you just take one green for the arm and you wrap it around your hook, open it with your fingers, and slide it on. For the purple, you'll need two because it takes two to cover it. So it's one, two, again, wrap it around, open it, slide it on, and roll it down, open it, wrap it around, slide it on. And you don't want to stretch them too much because it'll look too loose. So now the next color is red, so you would just grab two red bands, which I don't happen to have. I only have one here. So you take a red band, same thing, wrap it around, open it, not too much again, not overly stretching it. Slide it down and do that again. So it's two bands per color, but because the green was being blocked by the shoulder, we could only fit one green. Then the next color we would be grabbing are two yellows. Wrap it around. And if you want, just go to a search engine and type in Rainbow Bright and you'll see what I'm talking about her. She had that like the puffy arms. You don't have to do it. I just thought it looked cute. I'll give you options. And then the next color would be your blue and you would do the same thing, two light blue. So you do the exact same thing for her left arm or her right arm. And the same thing for her legs. So you would put two white, two green, two blue, two purple, and you would stop at purple because the red are her shoes. And then here's the other blue. Now it's your choice. I don't know, sometimes I feel like I like it, and then sometimes I feel like she looks like very puffy. So it depends on how you feel. But this is how you do it. You do the same thing again for her feet. And if you enjoyed her, then share her with me on Instagram. You can find me on Pinterest. You can find me on Twitter and on Facebook. And I hope you enjoyed her. And if you're an 80s baby, let me know too. And thank you so much for watching.